Hi, I'm Leo Marmol. I'm Ron, Ron Radziner. With Marmol Radziner. The initial prefab buildings that we did were the very traditional uses of prefab, temporary school buildings, kind of commercial and educational uses of these modularized systems. The first time we applied it to housing was by invitation by Dwell, when in 2003 did, they did their competition to look at the blending of prefabrication and housing. And so there we studied the, the idea of, of how to make housing outside of the site itself in a factory environment. I think when Leo found that site, we sort of knew that we wanted to create homes using a 12 foot wide, 12 foot tall, basically 12 foot incremental in length system. And then it was really about playing with those blocks on that particular site. Whether prefab or not, the same design issues of, of proportion, relationship to that site, how light comes in, indoor outdoor qualities, I mean, those are, I think, clearly evident in that design, you know, how it kind of yeah, encircles the site, opens up to the views, allows you to see through from house to landscape, back to house. All of that, that interweaving uh, between site and architecture is something that's again, important to us, whether it's a site-built home or a prefab home. It, it gave us an opportunity to try something that we had not done before. We had a sense that we could do it, but we had to prove that to ourselves. So the Desert House was our chance to kind of look at the process of actually building one of these buildings and, and, and out there in the landscape doing it and taking your own risk and, um, and seeing what you can make of that. And unfortunately, the world of prefabrication has never focused a great deal on quality design. They focused on cost and schedule. Quality design has a lot to learn from that drive toward efficiency, but there's no question those factories need to look at other design opportunities, and, and they're doing that, it's and there's an interest. Yeah. yeah, it'll, I mean, it feels to me like it is beginning to happen. We're architects, which so we'll means see. we're ever optimistic and hopeful. And that's the nature, I think, of the industry.